Those of you who are new here, my name is Chanella. I'm a junior doctor working in St. Kitts and I make videos on here on a wide range of topics. Feel free to scroll through, see what you like, and remember to subscribe. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 16 things that absolutely nobody told me I needed for medical school, but that I really, really did. And given that I studied in Cuba, once I got there in my pre-med years, it was just disastrous trying to find them because a lot of these things are not there. So this video is geared towards anybody who's going to medical school and I feel like university on a whole, but much more specifically those who are going to Cuba to study. So I divided everything into four groups. So they're either broken down into technology, life and home, studying, or just miscellaneous things. Let's start with tech first. So one of the most important things you're going to need, I think, I did bring that with me, but it's not something that people typically remind you to carry, is a surge protector. Those come in so handy, especially in Cuba, because we have bunk beds in our dorm room. I'm sure that there are a lot of other places that have bunk beds in the dorms, but if you're on a top bunk or if your bed is not particularly close to an outlet, you can get preferably an extension um, surge protector. So a surge protector that has a long card. Let me just say here, everything that I mentioned in this video, I'm going to be linking them down below so that you can find what I think is the best quality for the best price. So everything will be organized and linked down below. The next thing that you will need that is sometimes overlooked is a USB uh, pen drive or an external hard drive. Obviously, you're in medical school, you're in university, there's going to be lots of information being shared, there's going to be lots of conferences, lots of PowerPoints that you're going to want to copy after you have a class or you want to share files with your colleagues or you want to get in, whatever it is, you're going to need some sort of memory device. Preferably, you should get a external hard drive because that kind of lasts you throughout all the years and you can kind of bank all that information up. Or or if you prefer, you can get a small pen drive. I think some of them go up to probably one terabyte. I'll link some of them down below. Next, I'm gonna share with you some stuff that you need for studying. Now, apart from the obvious notebooks, pens, pencils, so on, there are other things that you need living in a dorm, living in a university that most people might not remember to tell you. The first thing is a clip-on lamp, and preferably a lamp that has that kind of hooded shade so that the light doesn't disperse and disturb your dorm mates. Usually you don't have a lot of space to have a standing lamp or a table lamp so you're going to need some sort of clip on lamp that you can clip on your bedside or clip on your bed frame or clip somewhere near to you. I cannot tell you how handy those came in. I did not even think to take one of those with me when I was going and when I got there it was a complete scramble trying to find one of them. Now another thing you're going to need for studying that I personally didn't remember to take with me and had to kind of struggle to find one later on like years after is a small table to study in bed with like a foldable table that you can sit in bed open it up put your laptop and maybe some exercise books or textbooks on it and you can sit down comfortably and use your computer that's something that I think comes in so handy and you're probably going to use that every single day if you can get one I think you should Again, something inexpensive but reliable. You'll be surprised at how much you actually use that. The next thing, it's kind of a luxury but also comes in really handy and this is something that I got maybe a year in, is a USB desk fan. It comes in so handy when you're in the library, when you're sitting in bed using your little table studying. And especially if you're on a top bunk that you can't really buy a fan and put it anywhere safe. You can have your little USB fan when you're in bed sitting down with your little table studying with your fan or if you're in the library you can take it with you or if you're in class and it's hot you can take it with you it just comes in so handy i got one and i used it to infinity until i think somebody borrowed it and never gave me back the next thing i'm gonna go into is life and home stuff so these are things that you need in your daily life it's not necessarily related to studying but they help to keep daily life flowing nicely the first thing I would recommend is a locker organizer. So in medical school in Cuba, they give us lockers apart from your suitcase and so on. You have, everyone has lockers that they are assigned that you can use for whatever you want to use it for, but they have no compartments. They have like, it's just a top part and a bottom part. It can be quite difficult trying to organize your locker or keep it clean. So what I would recommend is that you get locker shelves 
um, or locker organizers that you get some foldable drawers maybe a magnetic mirror and that sort of stuff to kind of make your locker more functional than just a big open space the next thing i'd recommend bringing that sometimes people overlook is a clothes hamper and bring something that's going to last you a while don't just pick the cheapest thing and then in two months it's broken this is something that you don't want to be spending money on time and time again especially since it's something that we literally just forget about until we have to do laundry so you should get something that's going to last you it doesn't have to be expensive at all but get something that's worth the money now the next two things are related to the bathrooms so in my medical school we had communal bathrooms you had your bathrooms your shower stalls that you can go to but it's open to everyone on that floor so what you're going to need are some non-slip shower slippers and a nice size shower caddy so you can take everything that you need to take with you when you're going to the shower these are things that i literally didn't think of when i first got there i ended up using a pair of flip-flops that i had brought with me not for the shower so they were not non-slip and uh, it was sometimes a bit disastrous but here i am today i also didn't think to bring a shower caddy and i had to go and try to find one and the ones that they had there were terrible quality i would recommend that you get a shower caddy that's made out of waterproof fabric that has a lot of space and different small compartments for you to put your toothbrush shaving razor bar soap face wash etc etc so now the last section is miscellaneous things and this is just stuff that just so happened to come in handy and you didn't even think twice about it some of these things i did bring with me others i didn't but these are things that just can make your life so much easier if you have them around so the first thing is a clothesline or some sort of rope to hang your clothes on when i first got there i did not think of that i didn't have it with me i had to go and find rope which was kind of a task and we were given space outside where we can set up our clothesline and hang our clothes we did have a laundromat at our school where there were workers taking our laundry and washing it but sometimes they just mishandle your clothes and some people just like the option of washing their clothes themselves the next thing is a privacy curtain so like i said in cuba we have bunk beds in the dorm rooms which means that you can either be on the top or bottom bunk but you're kind of open to everyone and sometimes you just want that extra added privacy or when you're sleeping you want to sleep in a certain way and you don't want to make your roommates feel uncomfortable luckily this is one thing that i did bring with me i brought curtains and sheets and so on so when i got there i was able to kind of set up a little privacy screen around my bed even if you're on a top bunk it's possible for you to even set that up because you can just get like four poles and kind of set it up that way but i think that's something that most people don't think about because there are other people that came a lot of people that actually came without any sort of curtain or anything and then had to kind of go on this journey trying to find a curtain in Cuba. The next thing I want to add here is an iron or a steamer. I don't think I brought one with me. I might have but it's something that you can easily forget you will still need to iron your clothes you will still need to look nice sometimes and for us we had to wear uniforms our physical presentation was part of our grade so it's very important to have an iron to make sure you look presentable that your clothes are pressed and wrinkle free now the last thing in this section are command hooks they just come in handy for everything especially if you want to organize your locker you can stick some in there for you to hang maybe your stethoscope or if you want to hang scarves or if you want to hang bags or whatever it is they come in so handy and i remember i brought quite a few with me because i really like to diy and i was just so happy and pleased with myself that i remembered to bring those so that's the end of the video like i said everything will be linked down below in the description box thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was helpful and i will see you in the next one